We started off, my brother and I were in a family business with a father, but he wanted to go in one direction, we wanted to go in another direction, so we decided to make our own mark in the industry, and that's when we decided to make a, a business of our own. We went to litter collecting machines, we, we market litter collectors all over the country, and export's going quite well now. We're hoping to achieve better market penetration with a lot more new products to grow the business. We've been a sales orientated and marketing company for a long time, mainly buying products in. But our next stage was actually to produce them and actually manufacture them. And that was the little bit that we didn't know about. And this is where we needed some help, some coaching and some guidance. And we feel that that is a good way forward. We would look at what sort of support do you need to help you? What are those barriers? How can we help you overcome them? What we then can offer you is a growth mapper whereby you will answer some questions on the company and that will help us work with you and identify the barriers and the opportunities for growth. You'd also get the support of an account manager, which would be someone like me, and it's my job to make sure that your journey runs as smoothly as possible. We deliver the support programme, we agree with you, and if there are any problems on the way with the coach or the master classes or whatever, then I need to fix and support those for you. We've now got all the initial meetings done with Tim, Sim Sutton, our account manager. Everything's gone well. We've now signed everything up, everything's gone through. Tim is now getting our coaches to help us with our project, so we're looking forward to the next few stages. We've been a small little business, steadily growing, nice steady growth all the time, and working with a the coach, they're, they're people who've been in big companies, and they know what it is to start from the bottom and work the way up, and it's these growing pains that we're going through at the moment, I'm sure the coach will help us through. I think what, what was needed was the marketing aspects of product, place, promotion and price bringing together so that they all actually um, married and became a cohesive plan for marketing the new product. What has been nice, we've been pretty well much doing things right, but where Brian's been and his expertise is actually to sharpen his up, help us and guide us through those little areas that now we're going into bigger markets and, and more manufacturing. This is where we were stumped a little bit, but Brian's expertise and help through the marketing and actually on the, on, on the new product side has been really good and helpful. We talked about promotion, uh, which included mail shots, which included producing a new brochure, which included uh, the website, um, and creating a client database with the opportunities to follow up. We talked about how we should price against competition, against the gorilla in the marketplace. We talked um, about how we should get the product to market. Well, we've got some pre-production machines made now, and they've all got powder coated, they're all ready as though we were going to sell them, but now what we can do is actually get a brochure made. So that's what we need for promoting the machine and for the big show, of course, in September. This is the main, main brochure for the show with the new show launching everything, but then, of course, we have it on the internet as well, so we download it from the internet. When people ask for the brochure at the show, you're going to register them, so you're going to get the contact details. That's right, from yes. Them, so, yeah. you can, so you can use it yeah. as an opportunity to follow up. We're at Birmingham, it's the RWM show, which was a waste recycling management show, and it's also actually encompasses all the cleansing markets, all the recycling markets, our customers. So we had a fantastic show, it's really good. First day of the show, it's nine o'clock, we're here ready for going. Christmas coming at half past nine, the final launch of a new machine. We launched it at the show, the new new barrow, which was good, that's what we wanted, everything on, on the market for, which was great, and all the people that came along loved our new design features, the safety features, and we're looking forward to some very good sales in the future. We're 
pleased to say now we've managed to buy the end unit for, for, for the future. Uh, it's going to be for the production. The very bottom unit now we've got it will be for the servicing. We shall do, have the manufacturing in here and then move to the main part for the final assembly. We've been doing our own little things in our own little ways and it's nice that Brian's been coming in. He's given us a new look on things, a new angle. It's been worth every, every, every penny and uh, for the whole team it's been really good. A lot of small businesses are focused on the day-to-day, -day, fighting the fires, coming in, picking up the phone, opening the emails and they can't create the time and the space to think about moving the business forward in terms of new products, in terms of new ways of doing things. And I think a growth coach can give them that time and space. Our experience with the Growth Accelerator has been good. It's helped us along, especially for the development of the business, with the products as well. The manufacturing side that we didn't know a lot about, which has been a great help. And also getting the machine onto the market as well, to help us that way as well. So it really has been good. We've always made time for Brian. We've always made time for Tim. We've made sure that what we've done is, is been with the coach. and We've put a lot of time and effort into it. We've really all enjoyed being on the Growth Accelerator. Yeah.